Welcome to day six of the 14-day Buddhist planner for the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Alan Pido. So on day six, we're gonna be talking about right effort. So right effort is an important part of the Noble Eightfold Path, and especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. You're going to want to not put in that effort at certain points. There's gonna be times where you're like, this is too much, or I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle this situation, this feeling, or whatever the case might be. But that's why this is part of the, the Noble Eightfold Path. We have to have right effort. If we don't have the right effort, then we're just gonna falter. We're gonna fall back and Mara's gonna win, basically. The three fires, they're just gonna flame right up. We're just going right back to where we started. So we have to have this right effort even when we don't really wanna do it. Now, there's four different parts of it. So we kind of see we got prevent right there. So we're talking about wholesome and unwholesome states. So we, we of course want to prevent unwholesome states. So if you know someone's trying to affect you or a situation happened out there, when you're trying to get groceries or at work or something like that, you don't want unwholesome states to come up. You want to prevent those. And you do that through the Buddha's teachings. He provided us all the teachings that can help us actually do that. And the Noble Eightfold Path is the surefire way to actually get there. Then also end. We want to end unwholesome states. So just not prevent them. We want to end them. We don't want to constantly keep doing this over and over and over again. We want to end all unwholesome states. And yes, we can do that. Then we also see develop. So we want to develop wholesome, good, wholesome states. We want to go to that other direction, not to the unwholesome anymore, but to the wholesome. And then we also have to strengthen the, the wholesome states. So we're going to, we're preventing it, you know, almost mitigating right to ending, you know, we're not gonna do that anymore. We're going to cross the street to where we want to start developing wholesome states. You know, yeah, I'm going to start doing this. We want to strengthen it. You know, we, almost like you got a dam or a wall or whatever the case might be, and we're reinforcing it, we're strengthening it. That's what you want to do. You don't want to fall back, slide back and forth all the time. You want to always be on the right side of the street. So when you're engaging uh, in the world in, in this current pandemic, or even when this ends and we go back to our regular quote unquote world, you want to make sure that you're not doing unwholesome states, but wholesome. And right effort is a big part of that. We wanna make sure that we're always going and putting ourselves into the teachings, learning, practicing, being mindful. And that's another practice you can do for today as well. If you haven't already, start looking through the scriptures, the sutras or the suttas. Now, you're gonna see a few of them in the back of our platter. We got three different ones you can look at right there. They're designed for this for current pandemic, our recommendations. But you can also look at any of the Buddhist scriptures. There's plenty out there. Now, one of them uh, is gonna to talk to you all about the Four Noble Truths and uh, Noble Eightfold Path, so it's the perfect one to, to actually start with. But there's uh, two other ones as well from the Mahayana tr uh, tradition. But right effort, you gotta to wanna to make this effort. If you don't want to, you're just gonna fall back. So if you don't have this, what are we actually doing, right? Uh, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, this is gonna be a big thing as well too. We want to go ahead and do this right effort. So keep going, uh, hope you're safe, healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.